Maka as guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Dragon's Dogma 2. And in this video, I'll show you how to complete the Silent Throne main quest line. And you'll also unlock the Noble's Night Out achievement slash trophy for doing it using this method. Your first step is to get to Vernworth in the game, and then once you're there, go to the Star Drop Inn at night to talk to Brant, and they'll be able to send you on a ton of different main quests. Don't worry, this sounds very specific, but the game will kind of guide you in this direction no matter what. As you talk to them about different topics and complete different quest lines, you'll eventually be able to ask about the Masquerade. This will give you the Event Tide Mask item, and it will start the Silent Throne main quest line. You can set it as a priority now. You've been warned that they are pretty particular about the attire that you wear to the masquerade, so let's go and make sure we're wearing some fancy clothes. I would recommend that you go up the hill, and one of the houses near kind of the middle, just in front of the castle area, is the Comptroller's house, and you'll want to go inside of this house and then go upstairs, and you need two specific clothing items. You can get these clothing items in other areas like the hall, but sneaking into the hall and grabbing those things is a lot more dangerous than just walking into this house, going upstairs. There's four doors here. Each room has something in it, but two of the rooms have specific pieces of clothing, which is the courtly breeches and the courtly tunic. So you'll need both of these items from this house. Once you have these items, you're almost ready. Make sure you go to your inventory and actually equip them. You'll find the event tied mask in your head armor. You'll find the courtly tunic in the body armor. And you'll find the courtly breeches in the leg armor. Make sure all three of those things are equipped and don't equip your helmet on top of the mask. Now, what we need is to go to the masquerade, which only happens at night. So, in order to get the time to progress, you can head up the hill towards the castle, and there you can find a bench, sit down, and doze off to progress time until it's nighttime. Once it's nighttime, you can check if there's actually a masquerade. A masquerade doesn't happen every single night, so if it's not there, just go back down to the bench and keep dozing off until your uh, progressed time to the next night and then check again. But with this outfit, you can basically just walk in through the front doors. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed to. You'd have to kind of sneak around and figure it out. But if you take a right-hand turn and follow the mission marker, you'll end up at the hall, and they'll just let you walk in. And as soon as you walk in, you will unlock your achievement or trophy called Noble's Night Out, which is for attending the Palace Masquerade in formal attire. And as soon as you do this, you may get stuck. Personally, I got stuck because in this little cutscene right here that's showing up on screen, they try to show you a little bit of a secret. And that secret is that there is a secret door in this room that you need to access in order to find the false sovereign. So what you want to do is you want to basically go on the outer ring of the hall. And then there's a long straight hallway with two doors. And in the middle, there is a false door that you can just push on through to find the hidden passage. You can then end up on a back balcony walk down towards the mission marker and then this will start a five to ten minute cut series of cutscenes where you'll talk to a bunch of different people you'll enjoy a, a very relaxing night with some nice company to say the least and once all of that conversation is done you will get a card that gives you access to one of the more fun areas of the game called the rose chateau bordellery uh, you'll have to figure out what they do there based on the name or just visit it once you get there. But once you unlock this item, you are more or less done the Stolen Throne mission. At this point, just head back to the Star Drop Inn, head back and talk to Brant to wrap up the mission. Make sure you tell him about the Masquerade. You'll get some Wakestone shards, a Wakestone itself, and I think you get around 6,500 gold, which you can use to do something like buy a house. Thank you for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And I'll see you soon. Peace.